Hey folks, Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player from Tasty Lakes Barbecue, and this is Lily, the smoking retriever. Today, we're gonna make something really good on our grill using all these ingredients, and let me show you what they are. Bacon, ground meat, mayonnaise, tomato, the Tasty Licks, Burgermeister blend, the Burgermeister blend, lettuce, American cheese, burger rolls, and last but not least, peanut butter. So what do you think we're making? Think about it. Peanut butter. Goober burgers! We're making goober burgers! Here we go! Okay, folks, that's right. We're going to make ourselves some goober burgers. And you saw what the ingredients are, but let me just tell you what a goober burger is. A goober burger is a really nice grilled hamburger, and it's got on it mayonnaise on the bun, a slice of lettuce, a slice of tomato, and then when you're making the burger at the end, like you'd normally put cheese on there and let it melt, you put a big dollop of peanut butter. Now, not that other kind of peanut butter, the stuff that's just peanuts. We're using real peanut butter. Jeff, loaded with sugar and like probably got some rodent hair in it. Who knows what else? But this is the good stuff. Forget that stuff they grind up at the market that doesn't taste like anything. So that's what we're going to do. So let's make them and see what they get like. Okay, so let's prep our ingredients for the goober burgers. First off, let's prep our mayonnaise. We'll make our mayonnaise. Homemade mayonnaise. Now I want to tell you something. This has half the fat and calories because I figured, you know, putting on a little weight, I better watch, I better, you know, trim it back a little. So we got Kraft with half the fat, light mayo. I'm figuring that's still going to be pretty good. Then we got some lettuce. We're going to take our leaves of lettuce. We're just going to peel a bunch of them off in here and get them ready like this. You see how I'm very particular about the way I do this. Okay, I'm going to cut that big brown spot off of there. We're going to get them in here and we're going to get them ready so they're all ready so we don't have to wait. Some little ones because we have some little rolls and we have some big rolls. Look at that spot on there. We'll throw that out. And this is this is how we do this. Okay, now I don't want to bore you with that too much. There you go. Okay, so there's our lettuce and here we have our tomatoes. Tomatoes, as they say in Berks County. And we're going to slice them. And ooh, yeah, just like that there. And we're going to make them about an eighth of an inch thick, I'm thinking is good. I'm going to try not to slice my guitar playing fingers. Because you know it's almost Christmas and I got to I got to play guitar for the nuns again this year, so I don't want to I don't want to disappoint them. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut ourselves a bunch of tomato slices. We're going to stack them in our Chinese food takeout tray here. We're going to have all our mise en place, all our stuff ready to go. We got our rolls, we got our ground meat. We're going to make our burgers next. We're going to put some bacon on. We got cheese. We got our peanut butter, and we'll, oh wait, I better prepare my peanut butter. Let's get that ready. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's make them burgers. All right, folks. So we're gonna get ready to make the burger part of the Goober Burgers. I got myself a log of ground beef. Now this is 73.27. Now it's 100% meat, but it's only 73% lean meat. So now I gotta tell you something, if you want yourself a nice lean burger, go somewhere else because this is 27% fat. Okay? So first I'm gonna show you how I make a burger to do on the grill. I learned this method by Dr. Barbecue, Ray Lampy. So I get myself a chunk. We're gonna make some big and some small. Now normally for a goober burger, officially in the restaurants that they make these at in the Midwest there or in the Hoosier area, a couple places that are famous for these, they make real thin big patties out of this kind of stuff. So I'm going to make a couple like that. And we make a little den in the center. Now we'll make them really thin, we don't worry about it too much. I'll tell you one thing i got to do though, the most important part. i got the Tasty Licks Burger Monster here and we liberally give a little coating. That's a little lumpy today and I'm not using this, this the thing. So I'm going to coat them with Burger Monster, get them in my pan here, and we're going to take them out and we're going to grill them hot and fast 
on cast iron on a ceramic grill probably. We got some pellet grills out there too. We might mess with them. And then we're going to turn them into goober burgers. So let's, I'm going to make a thick one now for you so you can see what a thick one looks like. That one I tried to make pretty thin. Matter of fact, I'm going to make that a little thinner. We're going to make that really thin. But I'll tell you, when you got 27% fat, these things shrink like crazy. So let's make a thicker one. This is the way I normally do them. I make them about an inch thick. Thank you so much. Thank you. I make them about an inch thick, and I'm going to show you a little secret. And that is, this is the part Dr. Barbecue taught me. Make a dent in the center here on both sides. You want to make a dent. Because when that burger tries to blow up into a nice round meatball like they always try and do, it's already pre-dented, and that part expands in the center, and then you got yourself a nice flat burger. So that's what we're going to do with that one. A little bit of this on there, both sides. I, when I said a little bit, I didn't mean a little bit. I meant a lot. Okay? And there's two burgers, your big flat one and your regular size one. We got the Burgermeister season on there, and we're going to grill them hot and fast, and we're going to turn them into goober burgers. So, folks, here we are out in front of the store. We're getting ready to cook our burgers. We're going to make goober burgers. They're all seasoned up with the Tasty Lick seasoning. So we're out in front of the store. It's a cold, brisk uh, Saturday morning. We got a big green egg at 450. We got a grill dome blue at 450. And we got a Primo oval here, a Primo Kamado oval. That's at 350. We have that set up half direct and half indirect. That's got food in it already. So first, we're going to show you on this big green egg. Mr. Hands here is going to take over without his glove on. He's a daring man. And in there, you can see we have our cast iron grate. And Mr. Hands here is going to show us the technique to oil it. He's dipping the oil. He's dipping in a pan of oil, and he's putting it on the cast iron grate real good. Is that working right there, Mr. Hands? That's working pretty good. He doesn't want to talk. He's kind of like the stig of barbecue. Yeah, the stig of barbecue, Mr. Hands. Okay. Now that we've got that all greased up, we're going to do our burgers. I'm cameraman. I'm the cameraman and the star today. So we're going to put a few of these on. We're going to get our Maverick Instant Read thermometer. And we're going to, when they're at 125, we're going to take them off. Now look at this tool I got here. Isn't that nice? That's a spatula. A spatula. And a grabber. Together. That's right. Look at nice how nice that works. I'm going to get one of them big ones there. This is my assistant, DJ. Say hi, DJ. Hi. Okay, DJ, don't get carried away. Remember, I'm the star here. We're going to try this big one here, too. Hang on to that, DJ. Oh, yeah, there's the big mama. Bigger is better. That's what my girlfriend told me years ago. Okay, there we go. We're going to close it up, and we're going to grill them to 125 internal. We're going to take them off. Well, before we take them off, we're going to turn them into goober burgers. Okay, let's go back in the store and get our stuff ready. Okay, we got our burgers on. We're going to get all our stuff ready here to receive the burgers. We're going to get some rolls. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do one for you now. Mr. Camera Person can zoom in here. There we got a bun. A hamburger bun right there. Look at this, I got my homemade mayonnaise. Goes on the top, just like that. That's light mayonnaise because, you know, remember, we're calorie conscious. Put some of that on, nice, thick. Okay, and then we got our lettuce here. We'll cut a couple pieces of that up, put it on there. Look at that, oh man, I do good. Don't I do good work? Look at that. Nice pieces of lettuce. We got our tomatoes. We got our slice of tomato right there, look at that. Now, a little bit more Burgermeister. I got a glove on there to keep my greasy hands off the bottle. Okay, and it's all ready to receive our burger. And I'm going to do a couple more of these, and we're going to be ready to go. Okay, folks, we're going to test our temp on our burgers. Go ahead, Mr. Hands. Open that up, hold it for me. Wow, they look beautiful. They're going pretty fast. What do we got there? We're already over the temp we want, so we're gonna we're gonna goober them up. Okay, we're gonna goober them up, folks. Look what I got here, Jim. That is how it's done, right there. 
right on the hot grill, just like a big piece of cheese. Now some of those shriveled up and got pretty small. We got some small rolls. We'll give them a little dollop. Sure we will. All right, there you go. Okay, we're gonna let these big ones on, and we're gonna come back and get those while I figure this out. Let's take this little one down. Oh, look how that peanut butter smells. Hold that. No, this right here. Hold the camera. Look how that peanut butter smells. We're gonna take them off. Put them in our pan. Oh yeah. Take them inside. Look at this little guy even. Oh oh. We're having peanut butter accidents. We're gonna take them inside and we're gonna test them out. Okay, folks. I got my I got my grilled burgers with my goober butter on there. Let's take a look at them. Look at that, it's delicious. I just had to fix that one a little bit. And I'm gonna build the burgers right here. Watch me do this. I got a nice big roll here, now watch. It's got the mayo and the lettuce and the tomato. Oh yeah, that is gonna be really good. And here goes the other one, that's the big fat one. Make sure that peanut butter stays on top of there. And then what we do is close them up. Close them up. Oh yeah, I want you to see that. Right there, look at that. Come over here, young man. Take one of them plates, young man, take that plate. Now here, take that, now look at those. Look at those, here, take that plate. Now come around here behind me, young man. I got myself an innocent bystander that just happened to be standing here around. This young man is an innocent bystander. Now have you ever had a Goober Burger before in your life? Never. He has never had a Goober Burger, so you know that this is an unsolicited test. Okay, so, so take a nice bite out of that thing. The best. The best. Is it juicy? Oh. How's that goober stuff on there, Tate? That goo goo. Very good. You're gonna need napkins there, young man. Very good. Two napkins. Huh? I'm gonna need two napkins. He needs two napkins. So there you have it. Look at that delicious, delicious peanut butter rolling off of there, and it really does go good. You can taste the saltiness of the peanut butter, and you got the tomato, and you got the mayonnaise. Mmm. Take big bites. You're taking big bites? That's too bright. Really, take big bites. <laughs> that way you get it faster. I wonder if Lily's gonna want some. <laughs> Hey, Lily! I got a Goober burger right here. Where's Lily? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the ultimate test right here. You want it? You want to try it? Goober burger? What do you think? Is it juicy? Yes. Yes. Is it delicious? Yes. Is it tasty? Scrumptious? Yes. Alrighty. Okay, folks. You saw it here first. The smoking guitar player cooks Goober Burgers right in his store. He's got a couple of innocent bystanders and a dog to prove that they're good. We'll see you next time. Okay, folks. So, you know, this is bonus footage. Bonus footage. You're not going to pay any extra and you're going to get to see something even more amazing. So, we're making our Goober Burgers. Goober Burgers. Anyway, and here we got one right here. Look. But you see what I got here. We're gonna make a super goober burger. I'll keep that camera out on here, young man. So what do you think? How about a slab of American cheese right there on top of the peanut butter and let's not forget the bacon. All righty, now we close it up. We got our mayo, our lettuce and our tomato. And now we got our super goober burger. Timmy. Come over here. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to get ourselves one of our buddies here. He used to be an innocent bystander, but I found out he isn't so innocent. There's your super goober burger. Here, you can have a plate too. I'll throw that in for free. Now let's give it a taste. Take a bite! Take a bite! Thank you. How was it? It was better than I anticipated. 
Is it good? It's delicious. Is it scrumptious? Yes. Can you taste the goober peanut butter? Yes. Absolutely. Bacon, super goober burger. You saw it invented here today. We'll see you next time.